Do you guys like my high quality, high tech scooter stand? Hey, check that out. I've actually just patented that product. They're available on our website for 199 bucks in any colour you want. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Hi guys, Pete here from Scoot Masters. How are you bastards going? Me? I'm pleased to ask. I'm great. And I've got to tell you, I'm pretty excited today. And the reason is, is that my partner, Trace and I, have been out uh, doing a review on the all new upgraded eMove Touring Scooter. Now this is eMove's uh, upgraded brand spanking new entry level scooter, I guess you'd call it, last mile commute scooter. Uh, but it is so much more than that, and I'll talk to you about that shortly. Now, um, just firstly, let's just talk a little bit about the specs, because they initially seem a little bit underwhelming, and uh, I'll, I'll explain to you why. So they're a, a single 500 watt motor, uh, rear drive. Uh, it does peak at a bit over 1,000 watts, so that's pretty good. They're a 48 volt system, uh, and they're a 13 amp hour battery. Now they are a LG battery, so that makes a huge difference. Um, they've only got a single brake, a single rear brake. So you add all these things together and you think, okay, so the cost is a bit over 1300 bucks. And you think, well, it just seems to be a little bit expensive for a last mile uh, commute scooter. Well, I've got to tell you why this scooter is actually sensational value. All right, firstly, it's an e-move, so you know that you have a quality build. It's got a sensational big, large deck, and as a matter of fact, the deck on the upgraded model now has been extended by an inch. Uh, even though it's only a single hub motor and only 500 watts, uh, the thing actually cruises along nicely at 40 kilometers an hour plus, and that's with me on it. A hundred kilo big fat ass, yeah? So, it also seems to have surprising hill climbing abilities, uh, which just, I don't know, uh, almost beyond belief how well this thing climbs hills. With, with like, Once again, with a 100 kilo rider on it. Once again, because it's an e-move, you know that if you uh, if you get stuck in a shower of rain, you're not gonna have any issue. The uh, e-moves are renowned uh, for, their, for their waterproofing abilities. Now, I won't say waterproofing this. There's not a, there's not a scooter on the market that's waterproof but the e-moves are certainly right up there number one spot when it comes to um, you know riding in a shower rain splash proof and uh, things like that your controllers aren't going to get wet your motors aren't going to get wet so you've got that to sort of factor into the equation as well uh, probably more importantly is the uh, upgraded suspension on these things now uh, we're going to have a walk around the scooter shortly and then I'm going to show you some footage of our ride today uh, the suspension, once again, with a 100 kilo rider on board, is absolutely sensational. Now, one thing about e-moves is that they don't over-rate or over-speak uh, their uh, rider weight, and they don't over-speak their range. So, if they're telling you this scooter um, is capable of, of holding a rider of up to 120 kilo, and I've got to tell you right now, guys, uh, I know for a fact that this scooter will hold a 120 kilo rider fine. The other thing with e-move is that, you know, they don't bullshit about their range. So they say these things have got a range of 40 kilometres. Uh, now you might think, hang on, 13 amp hour battery, 48 volt, 40 kilometres. Is that possible? Well, yes, it is. And uh, my partner, Trace, and I proved it today. So the loop that we did today when we were shooting this video review was 39 kilometres. Now, admittedly, both her and I were riding it, and she's only a lightweight, she's only 40, uh, 40 kilo. But we were both on it, we were both thrashing it. When we got back home today after doing the 39 kilometre loop, we were still showing two bars of battery. So we know that this scooter, even with an 80 or a 90 uh, kilo rider on it, will easily do the claimed 40 kilometres distance. So a last mile commute scooter, well, yep. It's definitely going to fucking do that, let me tell you, with ease. Um, but this scooter is also something you can get out and about on the weekends and uh, and have a bit of fun with. But probably the number one thing about this scoot, as a last mile commute, it weighs 17 kilo. Yep. 
17 fucking kilograms. Oh my god, this thing is so fucking light. Honestly, you can pick it up and throw it over your shoulder. <laughs> so if you're in a situation where you live in an apartment and you've got to come downstairs, you want to throw this thing in the boot of your car, you want to chuck it on the train, fuck, you want to chuck it in the glove box of your car. <laughs> a 17 kilogram scooter. It is so light. So the things that I noticed today when I was riding it, it's uh, the, as I said, the deck has been upgraded. It's got a nice, big, long, wide deck. Uh, it's comfortable to ride. It's got upgraded front and rear suspension. Uh, once again, with the 100 kilo rider on, I found the suspension was absolutely perfect. We've been over some big bumps and all that sort of thing today. It never bottomed out once. So it is a very comfortable ride. There is no doubt about that. The upgraded front suspension on these things absolutely works a treat. And like I said previously, we never had any issues with this bottoming it out at all today. The stem locking mechanism uh, is simple, easy to use, locks in solid, and we had zero stem wobble on this scooter today. They've got a pretty good standard light on them, um, and the horn inside these things is sensational. Actually, I'll give that. I'll give you guys a listen to that. Just hang on a sec. Let me see if I can turn everything on here. Having a go. There you go. Pretty good horn uh, for a standard horn on a scooter. Right, I will get up to all these controls up here shortly. Move across. The deck is uh, is a very good size for a scooter of this class. One of these nice uh, kickstands that lock down. Lovely. One thing I love about this scooter is it's actually got a proper full size rear mudguard on it, which means you're not going to get a wet back if you do end up in a shower or rain. God damn, I hate that. Hey. Particularly if you're wearing a backpack and you do get caught in a shower rain, and you get home, you take your backpack off and everything in it is fucking soaked. <laughs> I hate that shit. Alright guys, so, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of people might think that this is a minus, but it's uh, got a, uh, a single rear drum brake, but the brakes on this thing actually work very, very well. Now, my partner Tracy, she rides a lot of scoots and, um, she, you know, it's very hard to sort of keep her happy when it comes to scooters but she actually loved riding this scooter today and the brakes she found were perfect for her riding style and ability and i don't know apparently this is going to be her new favorite scoot yeehaw now as previously mentioned guys uh the market that emove uh chasing for this particular touring is the last mile commute and people that want to be able to quickly and easily fold them down and uh, put them on public transport and also people that are living in apartment complexes that have to uh, carry them up and down stairs. And uh, this thing falls down so easily and next to nothing. And uh, okay, so why not? Let's have a look at that. 17 kilos, they are lightweight. Seriously guys, with scooter thefts becoming so prevalent nowadays, I don't know why all e-scooters don't incorporate this, a key lock. So it means that once you take that key out, it does make your scooter just that little bit harder to steal. It means that someone that's gonna steal it has gotta push it away, they can't jump on it and ride it away. Simple little feature, every single electric scooter on the planet should have one. So guys, when you start to look at the build quality of these things, the, uh, the waterproof rating, uh, the rideability, the comfort, the, uh, in, in particular, the support that you get from Emu, they all of a sudden start to look like sensational value. All right, guys, so uh, if you're looking for that scooter to do the last mile commute, if you live in an apartment complex and you need a scooter that's lightweight, you know, forget about the Xiaomi's and the Nine Bots and all that sort of rubbish. Check one of these out, guys. And uh, if you'd like to purchase one, I'll drop a link down here. We actually have uh, an exclusive offer through Scoot Masters, uh, for Scoot Masters members, uh, which is uh, a $50 discount code. Well guys, I'll pop the link down there. You can purchase one online, pop the link in, get your $50 discount, and uh, if you do that, you'll save 50 bucks and I'll get a carton of beer. <laughs> How fucking good is that? <laughs> All right guys, if you're in the market for a last mile commute, Get out there and grab yourself one of these emus. Make no mistake, you will love it. When we were out riding today, Trace and I, we actually stopped um, at a little boutique brewery and had lunch. 
met up with a few friends, and then uh, on the leg home, we didn't want to stop scooting. And Trace was riding this at the time. She didn't want to stop riding it, so we ended up doing an extra long leg, long way home, <laughs> just because she was enjoying it so much. And uh, that's how you'll feel when you're riding one of these things, guys. Right, right. Get out there and buy yourself one. Go on. <laughs> Love you guys. See you next time. Scoot Masters. <laughs>